show you what it's like uh, to spend a day in, uh, in my shoes. So right now it's early in the morning. The kids are all sort of spread out throughout the house doing their own thing. Uh, you'll meet Eleanor here first. Eleanor. What are you doing? Um, I'm taking care of baby bees and we're ready to Oh, okay. So then I'm going to change them. I'm taking them. baby. Can you introduce everybody to Beast? Which one's Beast? <coughs> What's your favorite thing about Beast? My favorite thing? Mm -hmm. Taking care of him. That's really nice of you. All right, good luck changing his diaper. Who's our neighbor? Jen. Yeah, Jen. Um, all right. Right now, Dean and I are going to do one of our favorite activities together. We got to get the paper, Dino. Uh. I'm the only one on the entire block who still gets a newspaper, but I'm a journalism advisor, so what do you expect? All right, Dino, can you go get the paper for me? Good job, buddy. All right, thank you. Can you say bye? Bye. Dean and I are heading to do what we do almost every weekend morning, which is, do you know where are we going? Um. Well, we're at home. Uh, we're going to get coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Going to the coffee store. Yep, heading to Corner Grind, uh, just like we do every weekend morning. Um, getting in the car, we've got the lovely sounds, I don't know if you can hear it, of the train, the, El the train that perpetually runs through Auburn. Uh, we've got the gunfire from the, the firing range. True sounds of an Elburn morning. All right, buddy, we'll check in at uh, Corner Grind, right? Mm -hmm. All right, say bye. Down. Can you blow a kiss? Oh, that's pretty nice. All right, see ya. In the Bruno house, there's always some sort of game going on. Uh, I was trying to take care of a little bit of work this morning, trying to get planned for next week. Uh, in the classroom, I'm trying to do some miscellaneous grading. Uh, Dean, I don't know what Dean wants right now. I'll be back. I'll take care of that one in a second. You haven't met Alma yet. Here's Alma. Alma, say hi. Okay. Um, Dean, you want to say hi again? Good job. Let's go see what the girls are doing. Lucy, can you tell everyone what you're doing? Uh, I can pretend ants. Pretend ants? Yeah. Eleanor, are you an ant? Yeah. What's, what's this game called? rescue okay all right well that's what's going on at about 9 30 in the morning on a saturday at the bruno house well a bunch of you are probably still sleeping hopefully my students are are um if you have been in class you know that alma lost her brother her brother chief uh, a few weeks ago so I'm trying to embrace her quite a bit these days make her feel better a few weeks ago if i did this to her she'd bite me right in the face but she's coming around right almost say hi to your fans all right see ya so Megan and I right now are uh, hiding out in Dean's room. Oh, there he is. Um, we're trying to find a, Done. a Christmas surprise Done. for the kids. Can you scroll back up, hi? So yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. Um, and everything that we're finding uh, is siblings. So much like the whole Chief and Alma situation, back when we got them, the, oh, there's Lucy. Uh, the original idea was to just get Alma, and then we, when we went to pick her up, around the corner came Chief, uh, and we found out that there was a brother, so we got them both. Now as we're looking for cats, we want to surprise the kids on Christmas morning. Uh, everything we're finding is just siblings, so we're going to be a three-cat house pretty soon. I'm making sure Alma's not around. She's going to... She's going to... What did you hear? Hey Sophie, it's Mr. Bruno. How you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. How are you? Pretty good. I just wanted to, to give you a warning. There's a there's a storm coming. A brainstorm. <laughs> Dean was just having a bit of a bit of a meltdown, but I want to show you what works. Just uh, in case you're ever in need, if you're ever babysitting or anything, and you got a upset baby, let me show you what works. Dean.
He loves it. Lucy just got home from a grocery shopping trip with Megan. Lucy, what'd you guys come home with? Anything interesting? Um, fruit snacks. Fruit snacks. Yeah, she gets that from gets that from her dad. Uh, my next task for today, Megan has asked me to vacuum, uh, which is fine. Um, the problem is is Dino. He likes to ride the vacuum. So uh, we will see if uh, Dino can ride that. All right. A few moments later. Alma, you got any plans for today? Alma. We're calling Aisha. Hello. Hello. How you doing, Aisha? Pretty good. Just waiting for your weekly call. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um. No, I just had an idea. You know, I that tends to happen with me. Uh, I'm with Dean, by the way. Dean, can you say hi? Hi. I don't know if you heard him, but he said hi. Uh, so yeah, you know how we sell ads uh, to a lot of local businesses to raise money? Yeah, the ads and business manager right now. Right, yeah, okay, good. And then you know how uh, we also have a bunch of subscribers, right? Okay, and we even have subscribers that are out of state and even a few that are out of the country. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so hear me out here. We we have yet to hit the the... Uh, space market. So I was thinking if you know or if anybody on staff knows any astronauts, we could potentially sell to an astronaut, ask them to bring the crier into space, and then we could be the first high school journalism program to say that we have subscribers galactically as well. Mm. Uh, I think the lack of sleep is getting to your head as well. All right, well, just, just uh, think about that and we will uh, we'll talk on Monday. Well, we've reached that part of the day where uh, at least two of the three kids can still go down for naps. Well, one always, Dean will. Uh, Eleanor, you never know. So Megan's working on getting Eleanor down. Usually once I get Dean down, then I have to trade off and go into Eleanor's room and get her down. Lucy's hanging out downstairs, working on her artwork. Uh, Dean will only cooperate with me when it comes to nap time, right, buddy? Dean, what are you gonna dream about today? Dad. Dad, what else? And mom too. Can you say mommy and dad? <laughs> Good job. Say goodnight to everyone. Dad. Good job. All right. Dean's down for a nap. Megan's taking a nap with Eleanor. Uh, Lucy's inside working on a pretty elaborate art project. Uh, you might then think that this would be a good time for me uh, to relax, but those of you who know me pretty well know uh, that I don't really like to relax. It's kind of boring. So uh, those of you who also know me pretty well know my philosophy that it's never a bad time to mow the lawn. So I'm going to do one last mow, I think, for the year. Uh, just to think about all the good times from this past summer and spring, mowing this lawn. Give it one more go. All right, check in later. Well, when people think of a man cave, they might think of something uh, a little more manly, but this is uh, this is where I hang out, watch my football games, uh, basketball games, baseball, hockey, all that sort of stuff happens down here in the basement. But as you can see, it's also where the kids hang out. Uh, the girls have been playing a lot of teacher. Um, not surprising with both Megan and I teaching. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, the latest game has been called Penguin Penguin School, I believe. They get their stuffed animal penguins, line them up in front of the boards. Uh, Eleanor's board is off to the left, that easel. Lucy takes the main board. They teach them all the letters, and uh, yeah, it's pretty entertaining to watch. Maybe we'll see some of that later. For now, though, during nap time, it's my chance. Lawn mowing's done to watch the Illinois Iowa game. Went to Illinois. Uh, Illinois is up seven nothing right now. Uh, my editor in chief, by the way, Jen Lynn, uh, and one of my editors, two of my editors, I believe, Mia Bergman and uh, Morgan Phillip, are down there right now. Uh, 
so hopefully they are enjoying themselves. I doubt they're watching this football game, but they should be. All right, go line. I see ya. All right, so one thing me and Lucy like to do, uh, especially we get we back up to a forest. So, um, Lucy, tell them what we're doing. For hiking. Lou, tell them what we're doing. We're searching for deer. Yeah, we're searching. We're searching for deer. Uh, that's one of Lucy's favorite things to do. So yeah, wish us luck. We're going deep into the forest. All right, see ya. Cool thing about getting past or like getting through the forest that's right behind our house uh, is then we come out to this area, uh, which is pretty wide open. So I don't even know if you can even see Lucy. She just sort of makes a run for it. So I don't know. Helps wear her out. So maybe the kid will actually sleep tonight. It's fun doing this with Dean and Eleanor, but getting through the forest is a little, a little tough with them. So we will be out here for, who knows, well, until Megan calls me and tells me that Dean's awake and I gotta go in and get him. But uh, yeah, we'll be out here for a while. All right, see ya. Short nap for Dino today. So he is uh, outside with me and Luce. Dino, Dino, are you awake? No. No. Uh. You're, oh, you're up. What did you dream about? Mom. Who else? Dad. Dad. Are you going to play outside now? Cook. Yeah, that's the grill. That's where we cook. All right. You going to play outside? Mm -hmm. What are you going to play? Wow. Hey Sasha, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Just uh, the regular weekend phone call for me. Hi. I've got another one of my ideas. Oh, Lucy says hi. Dino, you hi. want to say hi? Hi. Dean says hi as well. Uh, so, you know how we want to, we're trying to raise more money, right, to get some more cameras second semester. Uh, yeah. So, I, I just talked to Aisha about a, a great idea I have uh, as far as selling ads to uh, astronauts, but I was thinking we need to continue to branch out and I was thinking maybe like a you know you, you see those like month those, those calendars where every month there's like a new model or of some sort so I was thinking if we could find uh, wild animals just like local uh, creatures throughout the King County area that we that we could get and then get them wearing crier shirts and then every month could be a different animal wearing a crier shirt, and I think we could make a lot of money. Your thoughts? I, I do too. Maybe we could even take the penguins from the zoo. Okay, yeah, you're on to something. All right, so let's bring this to the whole staff on Monday, and uh, let's let's see what we can do. Okay, sounds good. All right, great. Have a nice rest of your weekend. Hi. Are you animals? We're now into the neighborhood scooter race portion of our evening. Uh, Lucy's got some work to do, but she'll get there. Good job, Lou. There you go, Lucy. Good job. You hear those pups? How many dogs do you see? Good counting. Dean, how old are you gonna be in five days? Two. Two? That's crazy. Bath time in the Bruno house. Uh, we typically do this youngest to oldest. Um, sometimes we get real ambit ambitious and put all three of them in the tub, in the master bathroom tub together. Uh, but that can get a little, little rowdy. Uh, they all love the tub though, so they spend quite a while in here. Dino? Yeah. Hey Dino. Dean Reader. Dean Reader. Can you be Santa? Ho <laughs> He thinks he's got bubbles on his face uh, to make a Santa beard, but he, as you can see, does don't eat the bubbles. That's gross. Dean, can you swim? Hi. 
Hi, Emma. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. I uh, hope your Saturday's going well. Thanks for answering right around dinner time. But it's as always, it, I'm calling with an important question. Uh, you, you know how you're you're pretty into archery. You're pretty good at it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you think that as sort of a staff team building thing that you could teach us uh, how to use your archery equipment? For sure, yeah. Okay, unrelated question. Would I be able to borrow your crossbow? I don't have a crossbow. Oh, I thought that was something that came with, the, okay. All right. I have a compound bow. You can, you can borrow my compound bow, the pink one. Okay, all right, that sounds good. That'll help. Um, and then the other thing I was wondering is, in this pandemic situation, it, obviously yeah. it's hard to get our issues out yeah. to our subscribers. So I was wondering if you had any sort of like blunted arrows that wouldn't hurt anybody that we could attach yeah. criers to and then fire them in the general direction of our yeah. subscribers. Yeah. Is that something yeah. that you think we could make happen? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah, let me just get those. I'll bring those to your house too. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. That's, that's all for now. All right, have a good rest of your night. <laughs>
And can you say bye? Bye. Come. Can you blow a kiss? That's nice, bud. We are in the girls' bedroom. Dino's in here too. It's right before bedtime. Lucy's packing up all of her pictures. Lucy, can you say goodnight to everybody? Eleanor? Eleanor's making wishes out her window. Eleanor, what'd you just wish for? That unicorn. A pet unicorn. Where would it live? Um, in, in the backyard. Basement. No, in the basement. In the basement. Okay, we'll the talk basement. to Santa. Maybe he'll get you one. Santa. Dino, do you have any wishes? No. No, Dean's a simple man. All right, Nori, say goodnight to everybody. Wait, Lucy needs Nick Lucy, do you have a wish? Nope, just you tonight, Nori. All right, Nori, say goodnight. This is how bedtime usually works. The girls read together, and then Dino and I read together. Dean has been picking the same book lately. Let's see if he does it again. What book are we gonna read, Dino? That one again? Okay. All right, you ready? That's not my snowman. <laughs> Dean's favorite bedtime story, maybe of all time, is this one? This one. Right? It's called That's Not My Snowman. Is it hilarious, Dino? You know? Hat. He's wearing a hat. All right, that's not my snowman. His hat is too soft. Where's his hat? Good job. Where's that mouse? Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> Me impersonating the mouse is the most hilarious part of the story. To Dino, at least. All right, that's not my snowman. His scarf is too fluffy. Where's his scarf? Where's that mouse? Where is it? Where's that mouse? It's a reindeer. Where's the mouse? That's the scarf. All right, say goodnight to everybody. Hey, Jenna. I'm doing great. I'm just calling to see, well, are, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What? Are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? For what? You know that area between the, uh, the crier office, the exec office, and that greenhouse? There's that random, just like empty green space yeah. outside. I want to dig, I want to dig a moat. So if you, well, it's like a protective, it's like a protective sort of uh, body of water. Oh. Yeah. So if you're not busy right now, it's night. No one will be there. I think, I think we round up the execs and we just dig a big hole and then fill it with water. Another thought I just had was, you know how when we distribute the, the criers, we walk around yeah. carrying those crates? Yeah. I, th I think we'd be a lot more efficient if we got staff rollerblades. No, I like that idea. Okay. All right, so let's get to work. Custom, probably custom rollerblades for every staff member. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, so let's get to work on those, and then yeah, I will meet you. Okay, so round up all the execs, get shovels. <laughs> And then I will see you at the school at about nine, about nine thirty. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'll see you there. Okay. All right, bye. All right, till the kids are in bed, uh, not for long. Uh, if you have me in class, you know that they like to uh, make their way out of the rooms and sleep with, uh, sleep with us at night. But we'll take what we can get at this point, and we won't complain. Um, so thanks for following along with the day in the life of Mr. Bruno. Uh, oh yeah, what do you know? As I was saying, uh, I'll take care of that in a second. She says she's going to tell me something. It's going to be nothing of importance, but that's okay. 
Um, so yeah, a day in the life these days is obviously a little bit different for us than it would have been even a year ago, um, as I'm sure it is for all of you. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you uh, had some fun watching what life here is like. Um, every day is certainly an adventure, pandemic or not, uh, but we are just doing everything we can to keep everyone uh, and our family and everyone we love and all these students because we both teach and our family, my parents who take care of our kids every day while we're teaching, trying to keep everyone safe by staying in the house and uh, around the house and stuff like that and doing what we can to keep things under control and get life back to normal. So uh, much love to all of you guys and uh, happy holidays and see you in class or uh, remotely or whatever. We'll make the most of it. All right, thanks for thanks for watching. See you guys.